Yeah, so, uh, you know, not great. Um, you know, he's going to get uh, some things worked on here, man. It's, it's uh, unfortunately going to be long term for him. Um, again, same thing kind of with Phil. You know, we're not going to rule out the end of the year, um, but it's, it's going to be long term. So it's, it's unfortunate for him. It's unfortunate for everybody, obviously. But uh, talking with Yosh, you know, he's going to do his rehab and stuff here. So having that personality around is, is still huge for, for us as a team. Uh, it's very similar to Phil Philip Blake, so it's quad. Corey, just it looks like Jacob Brammer is going to be given the, the start this week, short week. What have you seen from him? He's been getting reps throughout practice. We've noticed all year. Yeah, exactly that, right? So uh, you know, it's just it's it's good that we you know took the time to give him those reps throughout the last few weeks and. Certainly, you know, he's been a guy, he showed really well um, in uh, the preseason and a lot of things that we idea what we try to do, he does naturally as well. So um, he'll get a, a nod at that. We got some other guys that, you know, obviously have some playing experience and other guys that are chomping at the bit as well. Uh, but, you know, we're going to start there with our eyes on, on Brammer and uh, see where that goes. But he looked great today. How big of a loss is Jamarcus with what he does off the field and during practice, running up and down? Flipping guys onto his shoulder. How much do you guys lose that? Yeah, I mean, you, you, those are the, those are the intangibles, right? That we always talk about that you love about Yosh. Um, but even today, you know, uh, turning the guys, Godber, uh, you know, Ferlin, telling those guys, hey, you, you know, this is your group now. Um, and the boys was running all the way through practice, you know. So it's uh, what would Yoshi do? Kind of thought process, right? But again, like I said, having you know Yosh sticking around. Uh, we still get his voice, uh, still get his leadership and his presence. Um, again, that's that's not just the old lying man. That's that's everybody in the room loves that energy, myself included. So uh, we're happy to have him. Does Hardrick's torn quad injury require surgery? Uh, yeah, most likely it will. Yeah. And uh, is you know you just talked about it a little bit with Brendan, but is there a more important player to this offense than Jamarcus Hardrick? Ah, uh, you know, yeah, there's a lot of important players on the roster. He was definitely a key. I mean, I think it was very evident you know when we went after him in free agency so uh, it is it's a tough it's a tough loss um you know the experience at this position uh and leadership on game day and in the locker room and in the huddle um but you know i think the, seeing the transformation in that position group since he's been here uh i mean he's done so much already for those guys um i'm looking forward to seeing how they they push forward almost kind of like making Pops proud, you know? So I'm excited for these guys. Um, in terms of what you want to see from Shea this week, progression, what do you, what do you need to see from him this week? Uh, yeah, it's, you know, same thing. You know, I think, uh, unfortunately um, for him, you know, defensively, I thought, you know, we didn't really give them as many chances as, as they should have. You know, we were struggling on defense a little bit. Um, you know, so just continue to push what he's been doing. He's consistently got better. Um, even even today, you know, he made all the right reads. Uh, we were off a little bit on timing, just a tiny bit maybe, but uh, he's making the right reads, man. So allowing him just to be him is the best thing. Um, I mean, he's Shea Patterson, man. So uh, we're excited to push forward with him. Uh, we think that he's going to go ahead and lead us. Because Trevor was throwing on the sideline. Mm -hmm. Do you have sort of an update on this? No, nah, no, no real update, you know, just other than, I mean, he's progressing extremely well, you know, so, uh, you know, we're pleased with him. And like I told you guys from the jump, you know, knowing Trev and his and his mentality and how he attacks things, um, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if, if the guy wasn't going through the full six weeks. And, you know, he's trending extremely well for us. And, uh, you know, I caught him in the gym this morning. I mean, he's doing that. He's doing everything we expected. So. Um, all signs are pointing positive uh, for Trevor. Coach, if you're looking from the tape on the weekend, how long do you take to learn from it, and then how long do you take to really flush away the loss? Yeah, you know, we, we attacked, you know, as a, as a staff, you know, specifically on road games, you know, we, we're right on the plane attacking the film, right? So you're, you're diving deep into it, and uh, it's 24-hour rule for everybody kind of deal, you know, win or lose uh, or, or tie in this league. Um, you know, you, you got to move on because that's that's the reality. We got Winnipeg coming in. We're on a short week. Uh, we just have enough time to make the corrections that we needed to make, and we got to push through for what's I would assume to be another physical game. What did you see from your defense on that film? Yeah, I think uh, we 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 messed up a a few calls as far as you know execution. Um, we had opportunities, I think, to 
make more plays. And, you know, in the previous weeks we had, uh, we didn't quite. I mean, we made some plays on, on the ball, no doubt, but we missed some, some crucial opportunities. Um, and then, you know, just when we're tired and uh, things are rolling and they're on the field a long time, being able for us to kind of clamp down and lock in and, and you know, uh, self-reflection, you know, I, I kind of I could have put the guys in some better calls as well. You know, um, uh, so, you know, everybody, we always we always look for self-reflection and that has to start with me. Um, so there's a learning lesson for everybody. i um, certainly been in games before. Uh, you know, as a coach where you're like, dang, I wish I could have had those couple calls back. Um, it was one of those, but I mean, I got to tip my cap. You know, that's a good team. And certainly we're going to play them again, obviously, this year. Um, and, you know, if it takes another one after that, you know, we're in a good spot. Just one more. Uh, the, the quad, can you con- confirm that it's torn? It's a torn I, yeah, I don't know all the, the, the details of the, uh, that's a medical thing. I ain't going to pretend to be uh, Doogie Howser or anything like that. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.